My name is James Johnson. I recognize I was having some kind of tremors about 10 years ago. My name is John Wilson. It goes back as long as I can remember. In kindergarten, grade school, anytime I had to write something, you know, it, it wasn't much fun because they always teach you to hold the pencil lightly. You can't do that with a tremor. A neurologist I went to told me that it was essential tremors. It's like more I concentrate, the more they come out. It's very frustrating. You learn to avoid things that highlight the tremor. My signature is illegible because if I try to make it legible, it looks like my first grader did it. It's embarrassing to try to eat a salad because you pick up some lettuce on a fork and the time you get it to your mouth, there's nothing on the fork anymore. You've, you've lost every bit of it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they're... <laughs> Everybody's focused on me, wondering why my hands are shaking, and yeah, it, it would be a game changer to be able to go to a restaurant and have a normal meal and not worry about any of that. After the focused ultrasound treatment, I hope and expect to not have the shakes in my right hand anymore. It's very exciting to, to have something that can help you, yeah. Now the fun starts. I'm really looking forward to the focus ultrasound treatment. Looking forward to this hand, my right hand being normal. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll take great care of them. So uh, this morning we're doing a MR guided high frequency ultrasound ablation on a patient who's 70 years old. He has had a tremor for 10 years. He's tried multiple medications. We are using ultrasound to treat his tremor and it creates a thermal ablation in his thalamus to stop the tremor. Um, currently he's having his MRI scan um, right now and then we will get started with the ablation part and it just creates a small ablation in a part of his thalamus that is where his tremor has originated. The focus ultrasound treatment really seems like a godsend almost. I mean, you're not having to have any kind of surgery of any kind, no kind of device is implanted. Notice the water in the bottle is almost still. I am very happy with it, and I want to see him have a very happy, fulfilled life. Right. And he just hasn't had it in the last few years with this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> So happy for him. I'm just, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Once you get through the process and you hold your hand out, it's just amazing to see the result. You should have a detailed conversation with your physician regarding the risks and benefits of treatment options prior to treatment. The most common complications reported by subjects in Insight Tech-sponsored clinical studies after treatment included imbalance, gait disturbance, numbness, tingling, and headache, head pain. Most complications were classified as mild or moderate, and 48% resolved on their own within 30 days. Additional infrequent events included dizziness, taste disturbance, slurred speech, fatigue, and vomiting. Persistent complications at three years included numbness, tingling, imbalance, unsteadiness, gait disturbance, and musculoskeletal weakness. For complete safety information, please visit 
usa.essential-tremor.com slash safety-information.